We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hi there, fun fans. This is uh, Nick Jr. here at the RI3D Collegiate Competition. I'm here with Christian, Carter, Eliza, and Ian from the Michigan State Robot in Three Days team. And uh, I'm going to pass the mic around and we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the robot. So you want to start us off? So our drivetrain is right from the Annie Mark kit of parts. And what we actually ended up using for our motors was Neos. And we got our drivetrain from the tractor, te tractor technicians, and we also got our inspiration for our climbing mechanism, which is this lift right here from them, as well as some parts from the Robo Rams. Um, so our lift here, uh, it's a single stage lift. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Power Up game that was two years ago, you've probably already seen this before. Um, it's basically just a metal box and then you have these bearings here and it rolls up and down uh, using this uh, cable here. Um, and then we also have our whole electrical panel system. Um, so it's really important if you're running NEOs that you get the Spark Max controllers. They're white. Um, they look different. Um, and it's also really important that you plug in your encoders and stuff to those NEOs. Um, even if you're not going to use them, uh, it's really important to plug those in because they don't actually function without it. Um, so that's something that we found out and we had to fix here last minute. So you don't want to run into something like this. Um, and then so for our intake, that was probably one of the biggest learning curves. Um, we kind of designed it after our entire robot was built. And so we learned that it's not that great of a design. It's meant to intake the balls and then put them out for the first level. Um, but we, it was kind of last minute. And so we definitely, for next year, really want to focus on a cohesive design from the beginning. And that way, we can avoid problems and actually get in good testing time. So definitely have confidence in your design and make sure it's what you really want to build before you start building. All right. So uh, I was the uh, programmer behind all this. and. Uh, I haven't really programmed an FRC robot since 2017, so I think for me the biggest learning curve was looking at how the WPI library is always evolving and trying to figure out how to code a robot for uh, this year's game, which it took some time and we managed to, uh, we figured it out, but I'd say I think for all of us the biggest sentiment we had is it's important to have design and prototyping is important because we didn't really do that. and. Uh, <laughs> It made getting here today a lot of last minute changes, but we drive and unlike last year's robot, which fell apart and was held together by zip ties, we, we haven't collapsed, so we're happy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would like to thank my friends from Michigan State here and I'm Nick Jr. reporting for First Updates Now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live and independent.